This is a chipped pebble. Tools of this type were made and used by primitive kinds of men who lived two and a half million years ago. Tools of this rather more sophisticated kind began to be made about a million years later. They're called hand axes. All these tools belong to the earlier part of our period and are called Lower Paleolithic. Around a hundred thousand years ago, tools of this more advanced kind began to be used. This is Middle Paleolithic, the period of Neanderthal man. About 40,000 years ago, yet more advances in tool making occurred at the beginning of the Upper Paleolithic period. Tools like this were made by men very much like ourselves. Upper Paleolithic societies left us very special evidence of their existence. Paintings that are preserved in the shelter of caves. They're mostly of the animals they hunted for food and skins. Can you remember the three methods used by archaeologists? This one is the traditional method, discovering and looking at remains from the past. The second method is called ethnology, a study of living peoples who still live much as Stone Age hunters did. The third method is the experimental method, trying to do the things that people did in the past. 